Welcome to my first uh, attempt at a uh, let's play of an old tactics game called Jagged Alliance. My YouTube handle is VibroLP. I'm coming from the Reddit community and there my username is also Vibro but without the LP. Um, if you have never heard of Jagged Alliance 2, it's one of the one of the best uh, tactics games probably ever made. Also, as far as I remember it, because I have already played it once before, uh, but it was probably like 10 years ago, it's brutally difficult. It will punish you for every mistake you make. It's really, really difficult. Of course, this m might just be me young and stupid and, and playing without a real plan, but it was really, really difficult. So I checked uh, the settings last time. I finally understand why people always fiddle around with the controls so much, especially the volume controls. Um, for some reason, uh, especially music and sound effects get really, really loud. Uh, when you try to record something with with fraps, or probably it's just me being stupid. Okay, uh, I'll stop <laughs> random clicking around for now. Um, check the lines. You maybe notice the 1.13 um, on the right side of the number two. It's uh, an unofficial package of patches or something like that. Um, I've never used uh, 1.13 before. But I originally tried recording it in a window window mode, or at least I wanted to. And without the 1.13 patch, there is no windowed mode, at like at all, nothing. So you, I had to get 1.13, uh, and then there indeed is a windowed mode, which is very nice. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> turns out Fraps didn't want to record Jagged Alliance 2 in windowed mode. It just uh, started recording my entire desktop. And recording my entire desktop would mean um, that the video files would basically kill my computer. So, um, we're <laughs> playing Jagged Alliance 2 in full screen mode at 800 by 600 uh, resolution. Uh, forgive me. My mother tongue native language is not English as you might have guessed by now, but I'm trying my best and um, the more I do let's plays, I guess my accent and my English will improve again because it uh, used to be pretty good. So that's that. Okay, patch 1.13 um, seems to have added a lot of enhancements and additional stuff. Uh, I just made the game run smoother, uh, removed some some uh, uh, wrong stuff, added a lot of new stuff uh, apparently. And playing with 1.13 is a new experience for me too, so why not join me in this new experience? <laughs> so we uh, start off by s uh, starting a new game, obviously. I leave the difficulty level at experienced. I'm my what do you call it? My honor? No, my ego wouldn't uh, survive playing on novice level. This might be a bad idea, but l let's leave it at experienced. And as I mentioned before, this game is difficult. So playing on expert uh, will most likely mean I will die. So I have no idea what Bobby Ray selection means because it's been so long that I played this game. Uh, game style. There are two modes, realistic and sci-fi. As far as I remember, realistic um, doesn't do a whole lot but um, remove certain elements of the game uh, which I w won't spoil for you because they are very much fun. There's a part in the game where you get uh, some information, some 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 messages from a mine calling for help or something like that, and you basically have to go there and well, I ho hopefully we'll see. Um, items, um, we'll just leave it at that. I have no idea what this does. Um, extra difficulty. We will play. Hmm. 
Maybe we should play with Iron Man because if I fail then well I'll fail. I guess we'll play on Iron Man, which means people die, people stay dead. Except we completely get wiped out and we have to use a, a previous save, but okay, let's go with that. Um, new in inventory system most likely is related to the 1.13 patch. So let's leave it at new. I'll, I'm interested to see what this actually does. Okay. So far so good, we are set and let's start the game. You have chosen Iron Man mode. Consid yes, I know, yes, I want to play in Iron Man mode. And yes, I want to play experienced mode. Okay, welcome to the Soil OS. Um, Check it Alliance 2 is split up into various uh, areas of the game. There is um, first it, this service thing, you um, operate on this island, and you, you are a, uh, not a soldier, you are, um, what do you call it? You're a hired gun basically. What do you call it? So it's, it's not a soldier. A soldier forge, that's what you are. You are a soldier of fortune. And um, you arrive at this island basically alone, uh, only with uh, a laptop. If we had seen the intro movie, and I don't know why it didn't play, you would know that uh, the previous president of our rule call, which is uh, this island state, uh, the name of this island state you are currently on, uh, hired you for a bit of money, for 35 grand in fact hired you to overthrow his uh, wife who uh, took control of the island and uh, started to run a fascist uh, dictatorship on it. Not very nice. She doesn't seem sound too nice. And sh in fact she isn't. Uh, we will uh, meet her later on most likely. So you arrive on this island uh, via helicopter and you have uh, brought your uh, hyper modern uh, ENIAC power 8 T2 uh, maybe a uh, laptop with you and uh, this is your point of origin for uh, or organizing a resistance and yeah it welcomes us we can press H to get help at any time um, there's something about an IMP site an ARM site we'll go to uh, get to that this is just a help menu I'll if you want to read this, you can, I won't, I'll just try to show you everything. Just pause the video and read it if you like. So Merck stats is a bit uh, bigger, so blah blah blah. Just pause the video if you want to read this. It just explains a lot of stuff. So I don't want to see this help anymore. So and our hypermodern <laughs> laptop is ex equipped with something called email and a mailbox uh, ooh, with internet surfer 4.0 so we have e no email so we check our email and we have uh, a couple of messages from Enrico which is the previous president of Arulco we have something uh, called an RRS report which has obviously been attached as a file which is now in the files area so I'll uh, delete this. So if you want to read these mails, just go on and read them. You can pause the video. So this is the more important video right now. So uh, right now we are a soldier of fortune, but we don't really know who we are. Uh, to get to know ourselves better, basically, there is a service called the IMP, the Institute for Mercenary Profiling. And basically, they invite us to get to know <laughs> ourselves. Um, we have to remember one thing, which is the secret activation code um, XEP624. This code is always the same. And how do we do that? We, sh we close our email and we go to the internet. And we have two sites.